My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be doing some work on our Diamond C trailer. We got some damage on our fenders, we're going to fix. Here we have our Diamond C equipment trailer we used to haul our equipment with. And we've had some issues with the fenders. And uh, recently, one of our employees actually knocked this fender out of track but before that was even an issue i noticed that we started to crack on all of these um, so you can see we've got little rocks in there and those rocks are acting like wedges and pushing the trailer out we'll go ahead and show you this damage and then we'll show you the other side um, we've got a little bracket right there this fender is supposed to sit in and this one's really bent up and you can see right there it's been pulled out and it's actually rubbing on the tire so on this side um, you can see it's also cracking and we've got all these rocks in there. So last time I washed this off, I tried to clean that up really good, all the dirt and rocks and stuff, everything that's in there. I'm gonna pull uh, these removable fenders out. I'm gonna pull all the nuts, pull these off, weld our uh, cracked angle iron right there, and uh, put this back on the trailer. Okay, we can see where the tires were rubbing. That one was rubbing. This one was rubbing real bad. I think that was just, that job site was just down the road, so that wasn't too bad. Got some dirt and mud in here. We got this little thing pulled up a little bit. This little channel, probably need to throw a hose in there at a minimum. It's all full of dirt and uh, tires. That dirt right there. Any significant damage or wear? Not that I see. These are a little bit hard to get out. Um, as it pushed that carriage bolt up, then it just started spinning, but we were able to get it and make it work. Here's a look at the other side. There has been some minimal rubbing as well. A little bit more on the front and the back. Okay, I am really not impressed with this design for the removable fenders. Just these things are getting just full of crap. I just had to pry, so they're welded in a couple different spots. So welded there, welded there. Well, I guess they're welded in five different spots. Where the welds are at, they just get packed full of dirt. I put a pry bar in there and wedged um, it open, and that would allow enough gap to get anything out of there to go down to the bottom. But then the, these edges are still causing a high spot. It's like they're full of sand and just really silty sediment. It's gonna make it really hard to fully clean these out and let these fenders sit back in where they were from the factory. We will get it as clean as we can so these don't keep leaning up and breaking that weld. Okay, got these all cleaned out. Got our pry bar stuffed in there. You can see all that rust. You can actually see on the bottom there, it might be hard to tell, where the powder coating touched and then has now been separated because we pried on it. Um, but we got most of the dirt out. There is still some dirt kind of in those seams where it was welded on. But uh, I, you know, if I would have ordered this from the factory, I 100% would have got um, drive over fenders or the heavy duty fenders. Um, but this is the way the trailer came from the trailer yard. They had the removable fenders, which is good for some things, not so much for what we do. But so what we got. Maybe eventually we'll upgrade and do some weld on fenders that are a little bit heavier thickness than these. Okay, let's get these welded up. We'll uh, pop this back into shape. I did notice this weld right here came separated as well, so we'll go ahead and grind that down, weld that together. Everything else looks pretty good through here. Just a little tiny weld inside here. Um, and then I'll try and go down the back side of those probably. So here's another look at the powder coat. 
we did a review on this Dynasty trailer and uh, kind of talked about how the powder coat was not as good as what was maybe advertised. So back underneath here, you can see all this rust forming. It's just not good penetration. All on this backside here, where uh, all those rocks and everything have just been sitting, has just deteriorated. And then here's where it's been sitting in that little lip. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the trailer. Like the fenders on the outside, everything looks really good. Um, but definitely always room for improvement. And uh, hopefully this feedback is positive and not uh, perceived as negative. Just uh, looking at ways to improve product and, and just relaying that to everyone else here on the YouTubes. Here's a look at those welds. Got that little back piece put on. Some welds there. We're going to clean this up with the grinder and the flap disc. And uh, we'll slap some primer and paint on it and get it back on the fender. Okay, you got this all welded up, painted up. Looking good. We're gonna bolt this back in and uh, hopefully everything's good to go. Good as new. Don't mind my wrong mismatched factory color. Ended up accidentally ordering the cement gray instead of the silver metallic. Got a tighter seam there. Gonna maybe try doing some silicone or some backer rod or something there to keep the dirt and crap from getting in there. But for now, that should work and should keep Keep us DOT legal and uh, put us back in business. Okay, let's do a 30 hour review on this Bobcat E60. In today's video, we're going to talk about the design flaws in this Diamond C trailer right here. It's been almost two years since we picked up this uh, Diamond C. EQT for the landscape business. This has been a great trailer for the business, but we do have a couple of design flaws we'd like to kind of take note of.